Tutu, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. In today's video, we're going to go ahead and we're going to check out Hitman 3. The game just launched this morning. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go through the campaign mode together. We're going to play it in 4K with the ray tracing mode turned on to see what it actually looks like. So let's go ahead and dive right into it. Now, I'm going to be honest, I haven't played Hitman for a minute. I've always been into games like this over the years. This and Call of Duty, I wish Halo would pick it back up again. I don't know what they're doing over there. After decades in the shadows. We are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, Look towards the future. All right, let's go. Let's hop right into this. The partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. There's always something about just starting a mission off, jumping out of a plane. Imagine this in real life. Wait, is that a beacon? Oh. oh! Close call. What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. Oh, the Constant shit. has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only <clears> assume <throat> Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later gang, gang. established a globe spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, Boy, these people got money. Likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right, this is our moment, forty-seven. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Let's do it. Welcome to Dubai, 47. I knew it looked familiar. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. All right, I think this is going to be a good time to tell you guys that I'm afraid of heights. Come in, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? My hands are shaking right now. What's the point of entry? Good. Get back to me when you're there. Bro, look at this. This looks good. This looks legit. I'm assuming we drop down here. Oh shit, don't fall off.
Cool, let's go in. We're in. Alright. Alright, we need a disguise or something because this is not going to work. Much better. The hotel lobby. On behalf of His Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali, I bid you welcome. To Thank you kindly. Oh. Welcome. Welcome. Oh. I'll have a drink. Look at all these rich people in here. I'm sure you are. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is <clears throat> happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. All right, let's do it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. Four, seven, zero, six. Well, that's useful. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Sure. Feeling generous today. <laughs> I cannot believe James called in sick today. Oh. Yeah, me either. You should have stayed home. Alright. Give me that outfit. All right, we're going to take you and we're going to hide you back over here. <laughs> There's just going to be bodies everywhere. <clears throat> that for now. Scissors. That might come in handy. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Huh? If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, They'll be trapped. The server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Silent alarm has been tripped. Oh shit. Security is on its way. Hide 47. Where? Where the fuck am I supposed to hide at? I'm in deep shit. 
Oh boy. <laughs> yes, sorry about that, 47. Whew. Let's try again, shall we? Uh, I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Not as many anger managers, but it's typical of all our maintenance scrubs. Not that many of them can be used, and people tend to stay out of bed anyway. <laughs> There's gonna be bodies everywhere. What is this guy doing? All right. Oh, there it is. Thank you kindly. Hello. Get rid of the witnesses. I'll take that one too. And in you go. Good night. Back to business. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? One of these servers. One of these servers look different. Let's try to yank this one. Please be it. Good. We're okay. in. Okay. All right. Perfect. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. <laughs> work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Andy. Excellent. I see the partners moving. Disguise myself as a to end this forty seven. Penthouse guards are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. All right, we're going to take this guy for some fun here. What you got there? I'm gonna leave this guy out here. What you got there, guy? Same with you, pal. Same. Do you know what he wants to talk about? No, but I've known this man for a long time. He wouldn't call us up here without good reason. I trust his people will have multiple. Uh oh. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. No more. Your delusion of exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however... <laughs> let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. 47. Finish it. Oof. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. Walk right out the front gate. I'll take that. What a lovely view. So guys, that's going to wrap up the first mission of Hitman 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you smash that like button for me and subscribe if you guys haven't already. If you guys enjoy videos like this, let me know down below in the comment section. I'm curious to see if you guys want videos like this for me to incorporate with my tech and other gaming videos. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.